Good morning, BG. I'm CJ Rapp. And I'm Chase Stewart. And this, and this is BGTV5. Please stand for the prayer and pledge. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, I trust in your unfailing love and your promises. I give this day and all that holds to you. May I walk in your goodness, knowing your gentle hand will guide me and keep me. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. And now for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome back to school, Gills. Tomorrow is Mike Bach Tuesday. If we hit a goal of $1,000, Mr. Gleach will play the March Madness games in the Commons Thursday. We can do it, guys. Bring a buck for the box. National Honor Society will sponsor an afternoon service at Opportunity Village on Thursday, March 21st. Anyone can attend. There are two shifts, 3.30 to 5.30 and 6 to 7.30. You can serve either or both shifts. This is 10 minutes from Bishop Gorman. Sign up in the NHS Google Classroom or e email Mr. Goodmiller. Congrats, BG Mock Trial Team P, uh, P8 for placing second place at the competition, the state competition. Congrats to Izzy Nazer, who won Best Attorney, Lauren Brown, who won Best Witness. Nice job, guys. And uh, prom and senior graduate tickets are now available. You can scan the QR code outside the activities office to purchase them or see Mr. Gleach with any questions. Mr. Gleach will update the seniors as to how many tickets are left during class meetings on Wednesday. However, tickets to both will most likely be sell, sold out. If you have not purchased any tickets, please do so soon or you might miss out. Elections for next year's student council officers will take place Wednesday afternoon, with runoff elections taking place the, uh, during the first five minutes of Thursday morning. Attention students, court registration is now open until April 5th. If you have not yet picked your classes, please do so soon or see a counselor. In fact, we have some new courses that you might want to be interested into. Roll the clip. AP Art History explores the historical meaning and aesthetic significance of human cultures. Those students will be able to identify works, know their context, and understand how artists and architects both reinforce and challenge cultural values. Students should take art history because it's a lot more than the study of paintings. It's really the study of people what they make, how they make it, and, and why. I'm really excited that Bishop Gorman is offering art history, especially at the AP level, because it's gonna give students the opportunity to really appreciate um, artwork a lot more, um, appreciate their own work as well. And in art history, they're really gonna see how art is proof of the human experience and that the tradition of art making goes back a long, long way. The Art One beginning art class is kind of shifting into, I don't want to say sampling, but it's going to be more of an introductory class for all of the different art disciplines that we have here. So it's going to be this kind of mod podge sampling of a lot of different ways to actually create art. I'm so excited to be offering this course um, because I think that it will give the instructors a chance to really spread the benefits um, of taking an art class. When you're taking all of these AP and scholar classes, um, art, though challenging, can be a nice break from that type of schedule. I think one of the things that students need to remember is that you don't have to be an artist to take an art class, right? You take art to learn about your artistic gifts and to develop those gifts. We have some exciting club meetings coming up. Substance Abuse and Suicide Awareness Club is hosting a guest speaker, Darren Waller, NFL tight end for the New York Giants, formerly of the Las Vegas Raiders, on Tuesday, March 19th, after school in Lecture Hall 325. Mr. Waller will share his addiction journey and the healing that followed. Everyone is invited to attend. Also, Teen Empowerment is meeting on Wednesday, March 20th, after school in room 326. National Science Honor Society meets next Monday, the 25th, in room 320 to, to go over other service hours for eligibility for honor cords. National Honor Society will offer tutoring to any student who needs assistance in any subject. Tutoring is every Monday through Thursday at 245 in the Commons. All subjects, no reservations. Just show up. Questions? See Mr. Godemiller in room 400. Well, that's all we have for you today, BG. I'm Cecil Jerome. And I'm Chase Stewart. And this is your BGTV5. BGTV